Welcome back to more The World of Magic, everybody. So once again, I massively trained in between. Yes, I did. As you can see, I'm at 99.93. Uh, let's see if I can actually find a freaking blaster before I, you know... Oh, here it is. Here's blaster, actually. I will kill this blaster gladly. Heck yeah, that's a great start to this video. What if I get wild charge? Let's do it. Come on, come on. Give me your drops. Give me your drops. Okay, can, you, can you please kill this idiot? Any drops? Ice cube. Well... Okay, so that's a level up. I reached level 16. So as a level 16 character, you may be asking, where the hell do I train now? I mean, basically, I was grinding, or training, I should say, with the, um... Okay, there's a pro there. Never mind. I was, I was about to say, I'm going to search for a raven. Yeah, right. <laughs> if there's a pro there, the raven got hunted. No doubt about that. Anyway, as I was saying, um, as level 16, or sorry, as level 15... I was actually training with the um, Red Eye Gasumis right here, but as a level 16, you don't really want to do that because you're going to be fighting enemies at the same level as you, and that's not exactly the most beneficial way in leveling up, as you kind of already know. So you need to be, be a bit more creative in finding other monsters. Now, if you actually go east from here, from Lando's Plains, you'll get taken to the forest with ruins right over there past the mercenaries. Generally, you don't go there until you're level 18-ish, around there. Because the enemies are freaking high in levels. They're actually level 20, I believe, the minimum level there. So that's kind of kind of up there, you know? It really is. I'm trying to find a bloody, by the way, in case you're wondering. Because from what I notice, uh, usually bloody gosumis and blasters are not nearly as hunted as ravens or white crows for some freaking reason. I mean, I understand ravens, why? I mean, the impact shot is worth the most from all the drops here, you know, but, yeah, oh, by the way, some old boxes, let me go ahead and open them, pirate coins, not that I need them anymore, oh yeah, I wanted to show that off too, I totally forgot about that, Uva pork meat, okay, and then, more pirate coins, oh, wonderful, alright, so I think what I'm gonna do, actually, is go ahead and, um, I'm gonna go back now, because as you can see, I have my 20% experience bug, which is really nice, um, I could actually go into, you know what, I should probably do that, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna board this back into the beach. At level 16, I can actually survive the Whoopas a lot better now. To be honest, I can dodge a lot of their attacks. For the most part, I mean, not that many. It's still pretty dangerous if I get swarmed. But I'm just saying, it's a lot easier to just, like, maneuver around them like this, like what I'm doing, you know, because you can survive a lot easier. And that means that hunting mutant Whoopas will also be a lot easier. Now, uh, what I should probably do... Oh wait, you know what? I'm going to go to over here first. And let's show off these pirate coins because I haven't talked about this. Look at my experience. My experience is at 68, okay? If I give you 10 pirate coins... 69. The reason why is because once you're level 15 or higher, if you actually give this guy 10 pirate coins, he will only give you one experience. And in terms of money, let's see, 125, 302. 126, 102. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. 125, 302, so that's 800. Which means every 20 is 1600. Uh, usually people sell stacks of pirate coins for, I, I would say 2000 the lowest, but sometimes more. Um, it just kind of depends, really. So, usually, yes, it is better. Oh, yeah, by the way, I have a raven feather. I didn't talk about this. Um, I did actually kill a raven in between while I was training. It only dropped a raven feather. No impact shot, too. I mean, if it did, that would have been the most amazing thing ever. But, yeah, that's a raven feather worth, like... Actually, let me check, because I don't really know, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know. But I'm going to come over here and sell Damas a couple of things, uh, namely potion bags. How many recall schools do I have? All 20 right there. Oh, yeah, I need to open that. I totally forgot to open that box. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, and then sell that. How much are ice cubes worth here, by the way? 250 each. I still have the old female ring. Okay. Let's go ahead and open that box, which I totally forgot. Oh my god. And that's the last one. Once you actually get that, um, yeah, you're all basically all set in terms of um, the boxes. So you get Whirl of Summonings, which I guess I'll put. Blessing of Buddy. Along with your friends, reduce damage by 10%. And, I mean, you could also use it for just yourself. And then, 
char by one, which I didn't really go for. All these passive skills, they're actually pretty convenient. Passive char by. Um, and then passive swift is right here. But as far as skills go, I already talked about that concentrate incre increases accuracy rate for a certain time. Um, to be honest, it's not that good for the most part. And later on, people just have it, you know, buff themselves up with it just in case. But um, Thorin's useful for PvP. I'm not doing that yet. Shift. It's not a bad idea to get Shift 2, to be honest. Um, Ensnare slows opponents. Uh, so Ensnare 2 is worth a lot. Impact Shot 2 is worth a shit ton. Impact Shot 3 is cheap, but you need 2 to get 3. Weakness. Uh, weakness works for PvP. Really good for PvP, but I'm not doing PvP. And then finally, Sharp Eye. Passive increases critical rate by stimulating the caster's senses. Let's do that. So my critical rate has increased by 1%. And that's not a lot, and you're actually right. It's not. Swift. Passive lightens the weight of your body to increase evasion rate. I need to buy that. And I cannot access the 21s yet, so screw that at the moment. So, yeah, let me go ahead and buy Swift 1. Let's do that. Okay, so... Let's also go ahead and search coin. What's the cheapest in Pirate Coin value? That's a shit ton of coins, man. Look at this! What? I mean, they're going for 2,000. The thing is, if I actually put 20 in there... Honestly, that's not worth it at the moment, though, because if I put... I'm trying to think about that. If I actually go to my... Oh, this thing expired again. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, let me go ahead and search for prison. Nobody buys ice prison, man. I mean, I'm putting it for the same. I'm not trying to, like, you know, put it on the lower end of you, but I, I kept putting it for... You know what? But, like, 4444. Four, four, four. Let's do that. Let's do some stupid numbers. Sometimes you'd be surprised. That actually works. Because when somebody sees, like, you put 4444, four, 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 they're like, oh, this guy's an idiot. He just put random numbers or a freaking, to be funny, 4444. Four, four, four. If you put 4500, they're like, hmm, he knows his prices. You know, he put 4500 exactly. You know, that's, like, how I kind of think of it sometimes. Let me search Raven Feather. I think it's worth, like, I don't even hear. Um, a couple thousand, maybe? It's not that much, honestly, but it's better than selling it to a secret merchant. I'm going to keep that for now. Um, and I kind of just want to... Oh my god, dude. Seriously? Because... Okay, well, yeah, what about ice cubes? Totally forgot about that. Because I got five of them. The thing is, is the event over? Because I actually don't know. That's 500 each. So... I'll do that. There, put that in there. And that's basically it, right? Everything else I can keep. Yes, I can. Okay. It seems so. It really seems so. Um, I guess it's time to just... You know what? Yeah, I got a better idea. I'm just going to give those power coins over to um, the NPC to get 1600 per 20. And again, the reason why is because... Like, it's 1600 but minus the actual, like, when you put it in and then commission, it's almost going to be 2000 If they were valued currently at, like, 2500 for a set, I would probably put them in the Black Trader. But honestly, right now, I'm going to be breaking even if I just do this. Plus, I get one bonus experience from doing it. Not that it's anything at all. It's really not, to be honest. But, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I believe... You know, I'm actually going to go ahead and put that over there. I have two power coins there, I guess. Whatever. Okay. So, I'm going to be going to... It's a good question, because... I'm not too sure. Like... I want to go into the second floor of Lighthouse Dungeon. Because the first floor has skeletons, and although they're pretty good to like battle because they have good drops, again, they're fast enemies and that kind of kills it for the most part, you know? So I'll have to kind of like maybe see what the best strategy potentially is. Okay, my buff is about to run out yet again. We cast it. Alright, okay, let me go ahead and enter the lighthouse. The lighthouse dungeon! And, like I said, I might go to the second floor. Even though what's funny is that, like, I haven't done everything for the first floor yet. Like, there's still quests. I need to fight Madgar. I need to fight Small Skeleton. 
Even though I'm only level 16, which is a problem. That's kind of why it's a little bit nicer to... Honestly, um... Because, okay, I want to see this. How much experience do you give me if I fight you? I'm at 0 0.24. So I got 0.20. Every 5 that I kill is 1%. Okay. I need to keep that in mind. But you also kind of need to look at the rate in which you're killing them. Because sometimes people say, oh, you know, you're getting like 0.50 from another enemy that's higher than you. But the thing is, if you're not hitting them fast enough... And if you're not dishing enough damage because they have more HP because they're a higher level, and the ratio is actually worse than fighting testing Woobas, who you can kill much faster despite them giving you only 0.20, you know? So it's just like all these things we need to take into consideration sometimes because people don't really pay attention to that, you know? Like they, they forget sometimes. Okay, so here's Advent. Okay. Yep, there's my ring. Okay, so that's gonna be the small skeleton, right? I'm pretty sure. That's probably the old female ring right there, but okay. And then here's Revenger, Revenger Zero. This is God's will with his blessing ever born, and now it's time to act against that vicious Madagar who killed my sister. About the revenge, okay? I see. Yeah, I'll help you. My sister Sia's grave. I buried her heart in there, so I'd like you to ring it back for me. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I'm not going to be focusing on those until a little bit later, but I did just want to kind of show them off at the moment, you know? Both of them are actually important, because that's the Madagar's quest, which is Revenge of Sorrow. And then there's... Wait, by the way, if you actually come over here... Oh shit, I think this is kind of dangerous, because there's underground spiders. But that's where Black Skull can actually appear, and also Gray Skeletons. It's one of many spawn points, you know? Hmm. Oh god, okay, there's already a... Oh, did you see that skeleton there? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is a little... You know what? Okay, go back to your spawns, people. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, are you serious? Did you seriously just follow me all the way over here, you idiot? Why would you do that? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is dangerous. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you, guys, do you see how fast these stupid skeletons move? Look at that. I'm already gonna die. I'm already gonna die because of this ridiculousness. Okay. And snare him, please. Okay, impact shot him. Thank you. Okay, don't get down too close over there because... Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want to get killed. Okay, see, watch out for that skeleton down there. Yeah, because there's a, there's a gray skeleton there, but I don't know if it's literally a gray skeleton or if it's like a small skeleton. But I need to take a look at that. Okay. That is a gray skeleton, so it is actually a mini boss. Uh, I'm going to try to kill it. What's funny is that despite it being a mini boss, it's actually slower than a normal skeleton. Which to me is just really hilarious, you know? The fact that they did that game design. Same thing with like... This is much later, but in the forest with ruins, there's, um, large spiders. But there's also a mini-boss among them called Spidey, which is actually slower, and I just find it to be so funny. Okay, get over here. And just kill them one at a time. Now, in terms of experience, I am, let's see, 1.28 at the moment. Okay, I think that skeleton's gonna come over here, yep. Wait, wait, actually I didn't. Alright, skeleton. This thing is a level 18 enemy. Um, and again, the analysis, I stopped doing it because people said that maybe I should do it a different way, which actually makes sense. And... I guess I have a, a way of doing it. Like, I'll still be explaining what happens in each, in each floor with each enemy and stuff, but... Doing it more casually, if that makes sense, you know? People are like, dude, chillax. Chillax. I got that from Ike Harley. The character Sam always said shellax. Not that I, I'm a fan of that show, I'm not. I, just, I watched it years ago when other people anyway watched it and I would just like sit in and I was like, oh cool, it's a decent show. Not that good to be honest, but not terrible. Yeah, so I'm hoping that I can reach a small skeleton here. So far, training on skeletons is going pretty well. I'm not getting, you know, killed. Except almost in the beginning, you know, getting almost killed by the first skeleton that I literally saw. 
Anyway, skeletons here. Level 17 enemies, they're pretty fast enemies from what how you can see. And yeah, it's okay. Pretty fast enemies. Uh, they do have the bones which they drop every now and then. You already saw a drop. Let me go ahead and show you again though. In case you're wondering. That piece of bone. Piece of bones are pretty decent in how much they sell for it, because I believe you can sell them for 200 each to secret merchants. Which means that minimum it's gonna be a four thousand for a set of twenty. So that means on the black trader it would be like maybe five thousand for a set of twenty, which is honestly not that bad. Okay. Also, these things would keep dodging their stupid ensnare, man. Another one. Look at that. Anyway, the uh, exit, or I guess the stairs, I should say, for floor two are gonna be down in the south. But I'm exploring up here a little bit because I want to take a look at possibly a small skeleton that could be up here. And if it is up here, then it's not going to be that difficult to um, complete a quest. There's a random underground spider here, and just like the other ones, they're also fast skeletons, you know? As you can see, they're already spawning, though. That's one thing I need to be careful about, because if I end up making my way back down there... I'm gonna just do a quick sweep over here. I'm gonna find a safe spot, so that's nice. Is somebody farming here or something? Wait, where am I? But I like... I'm trying to think of where the hell I am. Because I just lost my... Oh, so I'm gonna die if I, if I keep playing stupid like this. This is really bad. And I was like, dude, if there's a boss in here, I'm totally dead. If Black School is here, I'm dead. Yeah, that was honestly really stupid what I just did. I could just recall. Um, but I don't think it's smart doing that, to be honest. Now, if a pro from Syrus enters here, they're gonna kill me, probably, because they think I'm gonna be camping the boss or something, which I'm actually not, because I'm too weak. But, they could still do that. Usually, if they see anybody having even the slightest strategy for camping a boss, they will, um, they'll kill you. Because, you know, they, they want the boss themselves, which is human nature, all for yourself, right? Okay, the thing is, I need to be careful here because I took a lot of damage. That's not good. Well, time to make a run for it. Here we go. Okay, that was a good right there. They were all on the sides. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not good. This is not good. I, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm totally dead. Actually, I might not be. Hold on. Mmm, no I'm not, I actually made it. Well, that one's gonna, yeah, that's the only problem. Did I ensnare it? No, I didn't. Okay, get that other one away, get that, oh, freaking hell. I can't lose it. Okay, run, get out, get out, get out, okay. That was dangerous, what I just did. Honestly, I should not have done that, but... Okay, the thing is, I would fight him, but there's another... See, it's, it's coming after me. It's coming after me. That's not good. The thing is, I can't move because... Oh, shit. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Now, now, now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, get away, get away. Okay, that one's dead. I mean, thank God. I, mean, I, have, to, I have to fight him. I have to. I have no choice here because... Okay, I think it's gonna hit me once. See, oh no, no, I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Be better impact shot. I was about to say, Jesus Christ, man! If you do not impact shot that thing, I'm dead. Don't. Oh, damn it! I was about to say, don't let it hit you one more time, and you totally did. And I just okay. The good thing is that this area here looks like a safe zone, as you can see. There's no enemies in the vicinity, anywhere around here. 
so I can kind of just wait. One thing I recommend doing, and I haven't done this yet, is buying the protection of Lanos, which is also why I'm a little more scared about dying, because I'm going to lose experience if that actually happens. As you can see, this episode really isn't about me training. Really, it's not. It's more so about just me um, being an idiot, kind of, around the entire first floor of the Lighthouse dungeon here, and not really... Not really playing efficiently, to be honest. The thing is, I don't want to just wait around, though. Like, I want to kill something. Okay, that thing is... It doesn't have full health, so that's pretty good. Get over here. Okay, please ensnare. Okay, you ensnared it. That's good. Okay, ensnared it again. That's nice. Ooh, spider soul. Okay. My HP's climbing, as you can see. It's climbing back up. That door is... No, it's closed. Okay. Hmm. See, as you already know, I do need to play smart. Okay, that did not work. That impact shot did not work. Okay, don't find your way over here. Do not. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty much almost out of time. That's a little hard to believe there. I'm already going to be at 30 minutes. That's crazy. But hey, sometimes these things are not going to be accomplished. You know how I wanted them to like be accomplished. Like that fast or that, you know. You know what I mean. So I guess that's fine. Um, as you can see, I still don't have a pet. And the pet is really the thing that's slowing me down a lot. Because I do need to get a pet as soon as possible. I just don't have one. I just don't. And they're not, like, oh my god, they're like almost 300,000, you know, some of the cheaper ones. Which is still kind of a lot of progress that I need to make. That's kind of why I, maybe instead of doing all this other stuff, I kind of want to maybe grind, like, bosses, you know, killing bosses. I mean, I'm not going to grind normally, because I said don't do that until you're level 20, which makes complete sense. Okay, really? How did you hit me one more time when you were not even near me? Gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Get over here. You're just gonna let me attack you and not chase me? Okay, this thing is ruthless, man. It's avoiding all impact shots. I don't know why. Okay, not that one. Thank God. Stupid criticals. Of course they get a critical. Okay, that's good money there. Another 250 money. That's pretty nice. Okay, stop doing that. Jesus. I keep accidentally... I don't even know how I keep doing that, but I keep doing it. And that's not good. I don't know how that's happening. It's just like a weird iPhone glitch thing. Okay, I'm not gonna go to the west anymore. I need to fight my way down. Down south. And I do need to stop missing. Oh my god, though. Oh, dude, I hit the thing. Jeez, that took forever. You're just not getting any crystals. I don't know why. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting a little agitated here. I don't know what's happening here, man, but my... 
Ooh, my damage ratio seems to be a little low now. It's taken a long time to kill these things. I'm, I'm gonna make a run for it down. Oh shit, that was not smart because... Nope, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. It's right there! Oh my god, should I actually heart? The small skeleton is right there. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, I'm running. Okay, here's my strategy. Okay, you need to get out of here, skeleton. No, I'm totally doing this. The reason why I did that is because those phoenix hearts are soulbound, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna use them on it, honestly. Maybe it's better for situations like this, you know? Where, like, ooh, it could actually be very beneficial to be doing this. Okay, so I need to... Okay, I don't know why I'm scenario. That's actually kind of pointless there. Okay, the problem is you have too much damn HP. Oh my god, he just critted me. Are you serious right now? Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I don't have any health. I don't. Here. I'm actually gonna open these potion bags and try to get lucky. Hell yeah. Okay, also use one of these. And here we go. Let's try it again. It's gonna heal. Wait, it didn't heal. Okay, why, why am I ensnaring it? There's no point in ensnaring that thing. Well, actually, kind of, because if I need to run... Okay, just don't crit me, please. And you need to stop missing, dude. Okay, if he... If he crits me, I'm dead. Okay, I'm probably dead. If he hits me one more time. He didn't. I mean, I could be a cheap ass and use another one. As you can see... That thing, I believe, is level 18. And it's demolishing me. Like, some of these enemies, they don't fuck around. They really don't. And you'll see. You will easily see that. Um, they can really kill you. They can really mess you up. I'm really just waiting until this thing can... The cool time for 60 seconds is a whole minute. Um, I'm actually gonna put this at the top. And then simply just wait a little bit. Okay, let's heal. Please don't be fully healed. Oh my god, dude. Where'd you go? Where you are? Yeah, the only good thing about these things is because a small skeleton is not actually a boss or a mini boss. Oh no, oh no. It doesn't heal. Okay, grab this. That's the female bone. What I'm gonna do now is run all the way- Oh god. Oh god. I'm probably shouldn't have done that once again. Oh my god, dude. Also, if you see a slow skeleton, that's actually Madagar, by the way. I didn't mention it. Oh, no. Wait, I think it just ran the wrong way like an idiot once again. God damn it. You know what? I should probably just go back. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead right here. There's no way I can make this. There's no way. Shit. Okay, let me go in and show you this. If you actually put rebirth location, you're like, okay, I'm going to rebirth here. It actually puts you all the way back in the town. I know you're probably criticizing the game. You're like, what? I mean, I'm not criticizing the actual mechanic for that. It actually makes sense. But... I'm more so criticizing... Why they put that option when you die in the lighthouse dungeon. It's more like you're trolling the gamers. And you don't want to do that, you know? You really don't. I don't know why the hell you would do that, but okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go um, back to Advent. Hello, Advent. Uh, yep. Okay. So now I need to go into the Mushroom Marshland, as you can see, which is, like, what the hell, man, seriously? But here it is. Wait, that's Cyro's quest. That's the other one. Cemetery Investigation Request. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and recall, once again. No, it's gotta be up to the north, then. There it is. Yeah, you wanna go to and examine the Hermes Grave. When you do that... Wait. Cemetery confirmation. Is that really it? Stop scamming. Says Tempe. She's cute little girl. Okay, you shouldn't have said that. She's cute little girl. Why would that matter? Are you saying it's okay to scam old guys? Is that what you're saying? Because that's kind of what you implied right there. It's kind of like in these situations, like, okay. Because I work for my university. And then we, ha we just have these things of called red zone of like 
preventing sexual assault and all that. Not, not that anything here is sexual assault, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, you know, we have like all these situations and then um, I guess one of the things that... Um, I guess one of the arguments that people always like try to try to say is like, like, oh, you know, uh, imagine if it was your sister who like got sexually assaulted. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I mean, that would be tragic, of course, but but why would it have to come to that? You know, like for me personally, like I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm I'm against, like I'm a. It's hard to explain it, but like, oh, I'm like very against sexual assault, which you should be, of course, because why the hell? Okay, but. Why would you have to resort to a situation that's like, oh, imagine if it was your sister, or imagine if it was your close friend, you know? Like, how would how would you feel if it was your sister who got sexually assaulted? I'm like, yeah, but that shouldn't matter. For me, it's like, imagine if it was some woman who I don't know in this world, you know? Anybody, it doesn't have to be your sister. Like, you don't have to say that as an example to actually prove that, you know? It's, it's just kind of stupid. Anyway, when you go back to Advent again, you then get the Advent flowers. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Okay, you guys are blocking the teleporter, you dipshits. Okay, I, I'm saying that for... A, I don't literally mean that. I just say that sometimes to be stupid and funny in recordings. Okay, um... What's your marshland? Okay. But yeah, see, like... I don't know. This example was a much minor example of a more serious topic, sexual assault. Because, like... You know... In here, it was like... Stop scamming! She's a cute little girl. I'm like, you don't have to resort to that example. You're basically saying that because she's a cute little girl, don't scam her. So you're kind of implying that it's okay to actually scam somebody who's not a cute little girl. But I'm like, no, to me, don't scam anybody. You know, don't scam anybody, even if I don't know the person, even if, you know, that's just what I'm saying. Here's the Ring of Soul. One armor to dexterity. Um, so here's one armor, as you can see. So if I put this, I get two more decks. My dexterity is currently at 16. And now it's 18. But that is basically Edivan's quest. I know that I, I did... It was honestly not the most straightforward walkthrough for the quest because I did it kind of randomly throughout the entire video. But at least I did manage to fit it all within one video. That's, that was the important thing for me to do. So, I believe in the next episode what I'm actually going to do is... one well, between I'm going to grind probably, you know, and farm some bosses and stuff. And I will show you if I get anything uh, worthwhile, you know? Anything pretty good. Also, this thing, uh, you get that for free from this quest with the flowers. But yeah, so I'll, I'll show you in the beginning of the next one if I get anything pretty good, you know? We'll see. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.